Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about configuration and package declaration. Configuration declaration and as well as package declaration. So in any VHDL programming, uh, there are five different parts available. One is entity, entity declaration, entity declaration, architecture declaration, entity architecture configuration configuration declaration and package declaration package declaration and package body package declaration and package body so these are the five different parts available in any VHDL code any VHDL code VHDL code so in the previous videos I have discussed already about entity declaration architecture declaration completed and in a, in the type of architecture there are uh, three different types of uh, abstraction levels like uh, we can write the programming in structural we can write the program architecture of the architecture of any type of uh, uh, circuit in structural or behavioral or data flow so this type of three methods we have seen in the previous videos now we are going to see what do you mean by configuration declaration what do you mean by package declaration and what do you mean by package body in this particular video so now first let us see configuration declaration <coughs> so configuration declaration Configuration declaration means it is used to select one of the many architecture bodies that an entity has. See generally in any VHDL program one entity is there, one architecture is there. Entity is nothing but the place where we are showing the inputs and outputs of any logical circuit and architecture is nothing but we are writing the behavior of the logic circuit. See here the condition is architecture is one, not only one per the entity. Okay, for entity we can write many number of architectures. So among those all, which is to be selected for your entity that is decided by the configuration. So it is used to, it is used to select one of the many architecture one of the many architecture bodies that an entity that an entity may have that may that an entity may have and to bind components and to bind components used to represent structure in that architecture body in that architecture body okay so whatever the components we are using and among all those architectures which architecture is best suited for the entity that type of declaration we have to done we have to be done with the case with the help of configuration consider the following uh, configuration declaration for example for example we are taking the configuration of an off header so library library here the library we are naming it as cmos library and my library there's a there are two libraries we are taking here CMOS library and my library configuration configuration the function name itself is a configuration of header binding of header binding of half header is for 
half header structure for half header structure so for for x1 xr2 here it is the gate here it is a gate where the half header consists of i told you already half header consists of one xr gate and one and gate so that instantiation is being done here so use entity use entity cmos underscore library dot xr gate in data flow model xr gate in data flow model the meaning of this one is see here we are taking the configuration of the configuration of the half header in that half header we are taking the half header structure one is with the xr gate another one is for end for end for next for a1 and 2 and 2 here it is nothing but 2 input and gate here x2 xr2 is nothing but 2 input xr gate use configuration use configuration my library my library dot and config and config and for again and for this and for is for a1 and the last and for is for this half header structure and half header binding and half header binding so the first statement is a library class that makes the library names cmos library and as well as my library okay so those two are witnessed within this particular configuration declaration okay and the name of the half header binding what this specifies half header binding it specifies the entity half header binding is nothing but it specifies the configuration of half header entity so in that entity different uh, gates are there xr gate and as well as and gate okay now let us move on to package declaration package declaration so package declaration means a package declaration is used to store a set of common declarations it is used to store set of common declarations it is used to store set of common declarations such as such as what are the common declarative statements we are using here components components types procedures and functions procedures and function so these are the statements we generally use in the case of package okay these declarations can be imported into other design units using a use class okay using a use class we import above declarations above declarations into a VHDL code into a VHDL code so for example for example package example pack package example pack is type summer is so we are taking may june july august now instantiating the components component some d flip flop port 
so in d flip flop we are having d input clock input bit q q bar output bits end component end component again constant pin to pin constant pin to pin delay this is some example problem time constant declaration is colon equal to colon equal to 125 some nanoseconds function see here function we are using a function into bit int to bit vector into two bit vector and in brackets int value colon integer int colon integer return bit vector return bit vector end example pack and example pack see here what we have done is so the name of the package declared is example pack here we are declaring the package with the name example pack what it contains it contains a type statement it contains a component statement it contains a constant value and also it contains a function these are the different types of uh, components and the types all these are consistently consistently we are using inside the package okay so here and uh, what we are doing if you see we are taking a type some other means so whatever the what whatever uh, like uh, uh, summer may be it may be may or it may be due to june or it may be due to which type of month it is clearly mentioned here and in the component also it is clearly mentioned that it is a deep flip flop component and we are instantiating all the ports everything is fine and constant value is also clearly mentioned here but if you look at this particular function the function we have used as int to bit vector and we are calling a function with a name something like int value integer here we are taking int value as integer but what this function performs is not at all specified the behavior of this function is not specified okay so this particular matter will be given by the package body regarding this function regarding this function package body will give you the detailed information package body will tell about this function about this function okay that is the difference between package declaration and package body in package declaration whatever the function that has been already declared by the package body that we are using here and we just call that so in order to understand that function we have to move to the package body so now it is package body package body so package body means it is used to store the definitions of the functions and procedures that were declared in the corresponding package so it is used to it is used to store the definitions of functions definitions of functions and procedures and procedures that were declared in the corresponding corresponding where we are declaring this corresponding package declaration as we have seen in the previous case package declaration okay so this also complete this also and also the complete constant declarations it also gives it also gives complete constant declarations 
okay now let us see what that function we have given in the function uh, in the package declaration does see package package body example package body example pack what is the name we have taken there in the package declaration example pack is function int to bit vector int to bit vector of int underscore value integer int underscore value as integer return return bit vector return bit vector is now that function will do begin begin now here we need to write the behavior of that function behavior of that function into two bit vector okay so after that end int to bit underscore vector end exam and example pack this is about package body package declaration and configuration declaration okay thank you